Robin. Today I want to show you how we can use something as simple as this to create a beautiful zinnia using things that you probably have around your house. Let's get started. To make our pine cone zinnias, all we need are some pine cones, some clippers, your craft paint, uh, this should be acrylic craft paint, uh, water, brushes, and paper towel. And if you're uh, squeamish about dirty fingers, you'll want to wear gloves because this gets a little messy. To get started, we have to prepare our pine cones. Believe it or not, these small pine cones make the most amazing zinnia. Um, I have lots and lots of these, and while these will work, the smaller pine cones just are fabulous. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to cut this in half. Surprisingly, it all looks a lot like a zinnia, and when you paint it, you'll never believe it was a pine cone to begin with. I have my clippers that I'm going to do that with, and then I'm just gonna dig in here about halfway and use all my muscles to snip that. If you have somebody muscular that can help you out with this part, that'd be great. And so this is what I have. And I can trim that up a little bit if I want to, but look at that, it's amazing. If you prefer, you can paint the other side. It's a zinnia still, it's just uh, the petals are closed up. So I really, really like these open ones. So that's what I'm gonna use. Now I'm ready to get started painting. I've looked at lots of pictures of zinnias and I um, have decided to paint an orange one. So I've laid out the colors that I need using a rather big brush. Any kind of brush will work. You don't need anything fancy. And I'm just gonna cover that whole thing with my brush. The orange does not cover very well, so I can either go back and put a second coat on. Um, I'm going to try to mix a little of this thick white with it to see if that helps it cover a little bit better. That really is working well. You can also put a coat of white, like a base coat or a primer on it. So as I'm brushing that on the top, I'm just going to kind of poke at the insides of it to get the paint stuck in between those petals. and then finally turn it over and do the back too. And you can see my fingers get a little bit painted on. I never mind that, but if you, it bothers you, just wear some gloves. If you want to, you can even blend in a second color. So I have a little red here. I can give the tips of my zinnia a little red or maybe put the center a little bit red. If you decide you've painted something and you don't like it, hey, just paint over it. It's the beauty of painting. So I'm gonna let that dry, and it looks like I'm gonna need a second coat, no worries. I'm gonna set that aside, then go ahead and start painting a second one. This is dried, so I'm ready to go in and add my center color, which almost all zinnias have a little yellow to it. tap in a little bit of yellow. And again, if it goes where you don't want it to go or you don't like it, you can always just paint over it. So 
So I'm going to just finish this one up. I've got a small brush and I'm just tapping in that little bit of yellow. Amazing. Happy creating. Thank you.